I'd like to say first that it's a pleasure to be here with all of you to talk on what Fund Citra has been doing in terms of adjusting the spray mixture and also what we have in terms of innovation so that we can bring citrus growers to the digital area. We are going to talk about some uh, studies carried out and I'll focus on a NAP uh, system that we have developed so that uh, all citrus growers have access to the major or most important information on uh, volume of mixture per cubic meter that can be used in the field in a simple and practical way. So as I said, I'll be talking about adjusting the spray mixture volume for silid control, focusing on this app that we have developed. It's called the SPIF, S-P-I-F. So when we adjust the spray mixture volume, we have to take into consideration that citric culture has developed in terms of, or changed in terms of the volume of uh, product applied. From the 70s on, we had excessive, in the past, excessive of spray mixture volume, almost 20,000 here liter per hectare. That has been um, decreasing a long time. And then as of the year 2000, technology of application developed more. So we could use uh, proper volumes, reducing waste contaminations in the environment and so on and so forth. Not only in terms of a uh, mixture volume, but also we have uh, developed the equipment used for uh, spraying in the 70s, for example, like it's the case here. We didn't use turbo sprayers, but rather uh, pistol um, spraying where citrus growers could use the two applicators here for this region and the top of the, the tree and uh, then other equipment would uh, spray mid tree down. So we wanted to see the plant to drip in make sure insecticides so that the control was effective. So citrus growers, they wanted to see a puddle around the trunk base so that they knew the spraying was effective. But things changed a long time, especially because of other pests and diseases coming about. At that time, we had a few sprayings just, you know, for one or other thing. Some people not even would not even spray for pests and uh, disease. But then on the in the 90s, we developed a little further advanced into using turbo sprayers. In a way, the technology came, but information did not walk hand in hand with us. So we had sprayers then that were improper, not the way we wanted to work with, that they were sprayers with the center of the turbine below the center of the plant. So it was really hard for us to reach the top of the plant and other parts. And also we couldn't adjust the volume of the mixture. So this spray-in had larger volumes. However, we had no uh, sink in terms of the volume used to first work with this type of equipment. Then just later on, we uh, 2018, we could then work with the tips and nozzles with lower uh, flow, and they allowed us to work with the right uh, droplet size so that we could use the right product apply to the plant by citrus growers with the uh, outcome expected so that we could reach also the middle of the plant. So this uh, shape or this uh, adaptation that um, we came uh, to in 2000 is the one we used to today. So we, but still we have uh, updated and becoming more modern. As Dr. Monaco, the president of the Citrus said in the very beginning of our meeting is we have to bring technology towards citric culture. And he said that, that we have to aim for total quality. So I'm gonna talk about some aspects related to spraying that we should all be uh, attentive to. First, because we have this pole, uh, pulled uh, sprayers, we have to be careful in using the right uh, RPMs, close to 500, uh, 
40 at the power um, uptake so that we can have the right operation of the sprayer. So the RPM is important because if we look at um, a sprayer, here we have the pump that will generate the flow of liquid within the system. Here we have the description of the pump. We have a flow of 150 liter per minute. However, for us, for that machine to really reach the total flow, we have to work at 540 RPM. That is directly linked to a series of other characteristics of the sprayer. One being the the make the digit digital information or that it can be mechanic or hydraulic. So everything that is not sprayed, all the flow that go to the tips and, and it's not sprayed will go back to the tank for mixing the um, mixture so that we have a uniform distribution of the product in the area. Besides that, we also have a sprayer with uh, that is air assisted, that is a turbine, will also depend on this RPM. So for us to have enough air to take droplets to our target, we do have to have this RPM at a proper rate. Now differently from that, we also have uh, um, you know, RPMs that should be um, good or proper. Otherwise, we're going to have problems in the mixture. And one of the signs may be filters that uh, may be full of impurities and will retain product. And then citrus growers will have to stop from time to time to clean the filter. But in fact, um, you know, that doesn't make sense. What is, uh, you know, what's the point of your uh, stopping the sprayer and uh, throwing product away to clean the filter? So also we have to be careful with the tips we use, the spraying tips so that they're not worn and they're correctly used so that we can have a size of droplets that is uh, a proper so that we can um, take the product to the target and uh, tips, if tips are worn, then we have a high variation of volume here, then the droplet size is not going to be kept proper. So we have to take all that into consideration. Within this um, concept or this uh, change in paradigm within citric culture, we also have had a change in uh, concept. So f first we said volume per hectare, volume per plant or plant per tank. And today we talk about volume in mLs per cubic meter of canopy. That makes things easier because if you bring information to you, all you have to do is to size your plants and do the math so you know how many mLs you need to apply in a very simple way with one piece of information only. Marcelo mentioned in the previous presentation on he mentioned work in terms of uh, mixture volume. We can reduce that to 25 to 40 ml per cubic meter if you want to work with uh, shorter uh, intervals between applications. We don't have to use more than 40 ml per cubic meter. No need for that. And the spray, and especially focused to, on controlling silage, can have uh, speeds of up to 7 km per hour, so we can have more uh, operational output. And we can have, uh, we should use the fine droplets up to 150 micra, and with a coverage of at least 30% in the external part of the plant. Studies have shown that it's possible for you to have up to 20% of operational output with a reduction of 50% uh, costs and savings in water and insecticide of 70% uh, for growers. So where can citrus growers have access to all that? Well, we have a, a handbook with all the information in terms of how to set uh, uh, sprayers and work with technology and on farms. And also we have the SPIF, that is the integrated spray and system of uh, fundus citrus, by fundus citrus. So it's easy access to information by citrus growers. And that is free of charge, available to all of you. There is a version that is online that you can access the page for SPIF and use it online, or you can download the system and use it or on your cell phone. So it's an app or a system 
we have a version for a computer you can download from from the citrus uh, website in the technology uh, area or in the website for uh, uh, the SPIF, that is spiff.fundacitrus.com.br. The version for a mobile phone is uh, available for our operational systems. So you, can, you can go to any app store and uh, you just have to file your information in so you can just uh, uh, access the system afterwards. We have some functionalities in that the most important is to size the uh, spray in so you can calculate the mixture to be applied due to the size and volume of canopy of your plants so you can have all the measurements to be uh, you know filled in as information and here we have all products that are registered and they are part of the list that can be used and then we have a calculation of the dose uh, per cubic meter and the that you know here we can help calculate the dose and also we have the calibration of the sprayer and a report to be generated when citrus grower comes to this phase they can in the future go back to the history and and um, re um, view the data uh, that is logged you can here check the volume of uh, the canopy the way it's been uh, it can be calculated you can then size the sprayer to calibrate that and in case spraying has been carried out, they can um, fill out or fill in the data, and then the system will show the volume, the mixture, dose, and how the spray in took place, and how this spray in just done, how it is within the standards that are recommended. All um, these. Uh, information on the mix in or mixture volume allows us to better use machines if you have a 500 hectare area with mature plants 30,000 square meter with spacing of seven per three meter the refueling of 30 minutes of time interval between applications 15 days and losses due to maneuvering of the machine uh, 18 to 20 percent that is a tractor traveling from one point to the other in spraying line and the uh, traveling time uh, that is from the area of uh, service to the area to be sprayed is two hour a day if we think of all that adjustment if we compare that to standards of a small or mid size farm with the volume of mixture of uh, 50 ml per square meter, we would have here an output of 11.9 uh, uh, hectare machine day. And then we would have 4.2 machines needed. Now, if we adjust the volume close to 25 ml per cubic meter with less or, or um, you know shorter spacing of applications and we have the speed of 6.5 then the operational output would be 16.7 hectare machine day and uh, for that we would need only three machines so that is operational a gain of 28 percent if you think of larger farms that is a lot and for the small farm as well because they'll be able to cover a, a, a large area with a no lower number of uh, machine not only the mixing volume is important, but also all the information generated by our research. But it's important also for citrus growers to pay attention to within the property to see how everything is being carried out. It's no use for you to have shorter times for spraying without our being able to um, check or to audit how everything is going on within the farm. So work that we have carried out at uh, Funda Citrus uh, to help citrus growers to identify failures uh, deals with uh, checking how everything is going on within the farm. So if you think of all that, you, know, you cannot leave safety behind or it's out, outside, we have the issue of protecting the moving parts of uh, equipment and it's important for you to avoid accidents. So the absence of uh, the um, protection for the carbon Axel may generate some um, 
uh, problem, some burden due to some uh, inspection. Another important point related to the flow of uh, the spray and tips. Well, in this uh, study, 27% of sprayers that uh, we uh, assessed showed uh, a non-uniform flow. That is, 42% of tips are worn more than of more than 10 percent rate also the intervals between spray and sir Renato mentioned in terms of uh, intensifying management on uh, border roads and uh, or the border of the, the plot and uh, different management and with all that and the disease pressure we still have examples of our uh, having sprays in theory every 15 days but in practice it's in fact taken place every 20 days or more or even 30 days or more and they then in fact are carried out at every 40 days and also we have sprayers that uh, uh, should be well maintained so we can have more precision in the field. It's not un uncommon for us to go to a sprayer that doesn't have a compensation chamber or filters or hose, they're clogged. And then when we are going to set the sprayer, we have situations like this, situations that are present in a field frequently that um, once corrected would improve uh, precision. And then what is what does Fundacitrus have for you? Well, it's a new system, a new tool that would help all citrus growers in managing their farms where citrus growers, just like uh, the alert system or the uh, SPIF here, we're going to have a, a, a brief uh, registering. They can uh, uh, file the polygon there and the plots and uh, they can have all the intervals for spraying and then they can uh, see by means of maps if the spraying times uh, for let's say for HLB uh, it's being done uh, within the right time in the um, terms and then we have reports and maps for HLB within the farm so that we can have those reports generated so the citrus growers may deal with data in a more correct way. And also, we have integration with other systems like the plant health alert that's going to be uh, talked about in the um, uh, presentation later on today. And also, we have external actions that is also part of the system that is made available by from the citrus to, to citrus growers for them to manage everything that is carried out on a farm. And also the SPIF, that is the system that I just talked about. This is what from the Citrus has today in terms of uh, technological innovation. But back to the total quality concept, we uh, are always in the pursuit of innovation. And some citrus growers, they are using GPS telemetry embarked technology in tractors and sprayers so that we can have a better management of what's going on in the field. And also, you know, modern equipment and technology will only come to meet a demand. And uh, citrus, as compared to other crops, is relatively small. So we cannot invest in, you know, there is no interest in investing on machines and equipment. But citrus growers are uh, looking for innovation, indeed, and they need uh, all of that. So telemetry and other technologies will help citrus growers to have better and faster um, access to information to change and correct any problems taking place in the field. Thank you very much for your attention.